SIR model using the spreadsheet so before this I already um, explained about the GeoGebra and then uh, Jupyter Notebook Python now I would like to share with you how you can create SIR model using Euler integration method Okay, this is the example of the uh, formula that already being derived Selamat datang ke channel saya Kerja Data Online Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share all our videos We provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge Nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir Pembelajaran secara penat Let's begin The first one, we can create first column as D uh, Followed by susceptible after that, uh, infection and then uh, removed. Okay, remove also called as recover. Okay, so let us maintain as remove. And then we got here as DT, the rate change in terms of the D. And then we got here as the uh, beta. So beta is uh, transmission coefficient. Okay. And then we got gamma here. Gamma stand for the recovery coefficient. Alright, so the next uh, perhaps you want to explore is actually uh, stated for the D0. So the D0, uh, in this case, I would like to use the proportionate. Okay, so proportionate means that um, we assume the infection rate will be 0 0.01. And then there are no people recovered or removed. So um, the remaining susceptible will be 1 minus this value. So we got 0 0.99 is actually the people who are uh, not yet being, uh, who are already susceptible to this particular disease. Okay, so the beta coefficient here, let's say we assume at 0 0.5. And then our gamma, we assume about 10 days okay so we got here as uh, d dt so in the dt uh, time is equal to 1 beta coefficient is equal to 0 0.5 and gamma recovery coefficient is uh, 0 0.1 and then we can uh, make the following uh, line whereby the next day will be uh, d1 which is equal to this date um, plus this particular date and remember that we want to make sure this is um, consistent or constant on that uh, cell and row therefore don't forget to put the uh, dollar sign here okay after that we can hit enter and then you can have this uh, blue dot you can just drag it down here uh, and then in indicate until uh, d90 to specify the susceptible uh, formula here so the strategy formula will be is equal to si so our si is actually at the d0 so this is our si right minus uh, bracket we want to use the beta coefficient here and remember this beta coefficient need to be um, need to be consistent therefore we put the dollar sign here so that it won't move and then followed by the s and i times by s and then times by i and then uh, close the bracket times by the dt and remember also the dt or the time need to be consistent also then we we'll finish uh, begin to the susceptible and then uh, we proceed with the infection it's equal to i um, i i initial i means that the initial infection which is the d0 so we can refer to the above one plus open the bracket here and then uh, take the beta coefficient and remember to hold it up by using the dollar sign here okay and then uh, followed by the s and i okay times by the s and i so which s and which i is actually on the day one Okay, times by the S, times by the I. And then um, we need to do the minus, minus the gamma here. So the gamma also got to be uh, considered the dollar sign so that it will be consistent there. Times by the I, rate of infection. And then close the bracket, 
times by the dt and remember also the dt need to have the dollar sign so that it's remain there and then you can um, do like this and for the remove one because this is a very uh, intuitive part of proportion so therefore we assume that all the proportion will be one or hundred percent so therefore we just uh, do some deduction one minus acceptable and minus recovery okay so we got this remove um, one minus this one so it is the the excess number of um, all this computational element then you can uh, shift drag it down and then you got this kind of number and then you can simulate it much more better until one month for example so uh, in this case i would like to uh, simulate until uh, day uh, 39 so the next part that is will be very interesting is you want to create the graph therefore you can just uh, highlight everything by holding the shift button and then insert the chart and then inside the chart here we can uh, automatically got the option here and then we got our uh, SIR chart so this SIR chart is already available for us and you can make some sort of changes for example the rate of the day will be uh, 0 0.5 days and then the beta coefficient will be much more reduced for example 0 0.06 uh, and then we can got this number you can J2 you can get this number gambar the recovery coefficient let's say um, much more better is 0 point um, 7 it's increased right so you can see the number here uh, so the most interesting part is actually you want to find the peak okay the peak of the uh, infection so to do that is actually equal sign max okay max and then you just um, copy this uh, select those G column and then it will tells you what is the maximum proportion that will be uh, infected uh, personnel or infected numbers okay so uh, let's say the government uh, deploy the um, movement control order and so on therefore the faction so you can see over here it is changes a lot um, let's say um, the recovery will be 0 0.1 similar let's say the beta coefficient is changes 0 0.8 which is reduced then we can see that the peak also reduced okay 0 0.5 for example and it's become 0 0.2 so that means the peak will be much more lesser if you uh, did not transmit or did not um, have the ability to uh, to spread those disease okay uh, this is the idea about the um, SIR model using spreadsheet uh, using mod using Euler integration so hopefully you can find this video useful and see you again next time thank you